Holy shit, I am broadcasting dead from Tarpon Springs, Florida. It's kind of live, kind of dead. RockMetalTalk.com. Don't forget to check me out on GraniteCoastEntertainment.com and MaximumThreshold.net. I'm still fucking shot. Since last Sunday, it's been nothing but basically a disaster radio-wise. was a disaster last Sunday, so I have to apologize to little Ozzy. We tried to do the show twice, and it still didn't work. It was a combination of the fucking new iPhone jack, my computer updating, a power surge, and something with the fucking USB ports on the computer. All giving me shit at the same time. But what you heard right before, you know, I rudely interrupted the good music was um, Utopia by Novaria from Rome. We had them on the show a couple of weeks back, so I want to uh, throw them in there. We're also going to make it up to little Ozzy and rebook him on the show. I am going to play the Lonely Heart for him again this week. I'm going to play a couple of tracks, you know, as most of you know who follow me on fucking Facebook and whatnot. Uh, I've been working a lot, trouble at work, not feeling good, so I'm going through a lot of shit between that and the technical difficulties and going to the doctor and doing all sorts of shit. Um, You know, I'm just getting a lot of requests and, you know, a bunch of people asking me shit, so I'm trying to keep track of that. But, you know, it's, it's definitely wearing me out, you know, still doing the radio show and shit, so thank God I have a great staff. That helps me out now. Fucking cats and yama. Got a lot to say. So it helps me out with the show. Especially when I'm feeling like this. And obviously you can hear it. Um, Prickly Rickly. Does a fucking fantastic job. Picking his stuff. So he did over an hour to help me out this week. And then you got the newest edition. Alicia who does the rock metal talk news. So it's always fun to hear what these guys send every week. They're definitely becoming more than I expected, and they follow through. It's unlike, you know, when you have interns and stuff, they don't know the inner workings. They're not really musicians. They're just going to learn about TV and radio. So you got to find a lot of work for them. These people are all uh, musicians working, you know, touring. They're involved in the business. So they have more knowledge and, you know, have creativity to put segments together, whether being in radio or not being in radio. Some of them have radio experience, but you know, from my perspective, it makes my job a lot easier because I don't even have to grade anybody. And you know, they do this out of the kindness of their hearts. We all basically do. Um, That's what we do. We're in it for the music and, you know, to get people out there and to spread the word about the things we do. Chris King did a great job on the new sticker that I'm going to be doing. So I might make that into a shirt eventually. We'll see how that goes. See how far, you know, the next couple of weeks go with things, you know, evolving, you know, and things change and things change in life. And, you know, that's just how it rolls. You got to stick around. You got to listen to Cats and Yammer segment. Um, I actually just remembered now, Cats and Yama, to load your song. So I'll get that loaded before the end of your segment. Um, you know, it's it's good material when someone can open up. You know, you know these guys don't have to open up their personal lives. And a lot of times, um, Ricky and Cats and Yama, they, they open up. And, you know, sometimes it gets pretty deep. And, you know. It's not always political things or thing, you know, um, they got a lot to say. So um, Katz and Yama gets pretty deep this week, gets pretty personal. Um, He reviews one of my favorite albums um, that have recently come out. So stick around for that. It's definitely interesting, you know, to, you know, it's, it's not, it's not just about music. It's about our lives too. And, you know, you want to call in, you want to tell stories, you know, whatever the case may be. You don't, you don't have to be a musician or um, a rock star or, you know, someone on TV or anything like that to become part of the show. And I think that's pretty obvious. And I think that's where I take a different stand. You know, everybody can steal my elements here and there. But, you know, um, 
I'm a huge Howard Stern fan. I'm not saying I never borrow ideas or thoughts or say that would sound good to do that type of thing on my show. Do I really use it? If I do, I always give credit to it. But it doesn't matter. Um, I I know where some of this stuff originates. I know where some of the sayings I do. And, you know, there's original people out there and there's not. So in a way it aggravates me, but in a way it's a, you know, it's respecting me for it without really, you know, do, but I, I don't, I don't want to get into a whole thing about me being on radio because I've actually done real radio work. So I'm this podcasting is what I've done for most of my time. This type of thing, I consider it a radio show. But it, this is um, some of the personal stuff. Yeah, that's where it comes from, Howard Stern, because that's what I find intriguing about radio and getting to know people, not just not just for the things they do musically, but some of you know. How many times would you know about certain bands doing stuff in their personal life? Generally, they don't get asked these things because traditional radio doesn't allow those things. They give you a couple of minutes to talk to the artist on the way to do a free show because you're you're bending them over the rail and and forcing them to do. But that that that's a whole that's a whole nother show in itself. But there's um you know. We talked about Little Ozzy. We're going to rebook him. I, you know, one thing that really fucking drives me nuts lately is shopping on Amazon and the prices change. One day, I bought a surge protector yesterday, got it, said, okay, let me order another one. And today it's a dollar cheaper. The sneakers were five, six dollars cheaper yesterday than one nineteen today. I, I, I don't get it. It's, it's a confusing marketplace. I, pay, I pre-ordered Corns LP, the new one, on vinyl. For eighteen dollars and four cents today, it's thirty one dollars. Is it because of the level of stock they have? It's got to be. It's got to be the only thing fucking with my head. I paid twenty. Uh, I don't know seventeen dollars or eighteen ninety nine for dope. It's out of stock. It's twelve ninety nine. But as soon as they get it in stock, it's fucking twice the price again. I don't get it. It just drives me nuts. That's just something I want to fucking get out there. I told you I was sick. I did that. Fucking ghost. Going to see those guys. Man, those guys are getting so popular. I mean, I belong to a couple of the groups online. I mean, doubling in the fucking masses as far as that goes. But I'm starting to lose my voice. Born Into Exile is going to be on the show next week. They're doing a guest appearance on another show on Monday. I guess it was just the timing because, you know, I should have had him on today, I guess. Because this shit's been booked for a long time. But I guess they wanted it closer to the show. There's a lot of, you know, audience. We got to get them out there and get the record heard and all that shit. They're having a release party. So we're going to talk about all that shit next Sunday at 8 p.m. Unless I'm dead again by then. It's just one of those things. I'm getting a lot of shit on Facebook. Um, But, yep, let me play a tune. And uh, I'll load the Cats and Yama song and we'll get into some of the segments. I'll be back for just a few minutes and uh, we'll roll on with the show and I can get some rest and get up and fucking deliver some fucking chips. Jay Stone, rockmetaltalk.com. 